Okay, so we've gotten to the point where our board is together, everything is plugged in. We're going to go ahead and program our Torque 6 speed controllers using the VESC tool, VESC tool. And to do so, we're going to start at the welcome. First, you're going to turn on the board. It'll light up. Then you're going to plug in a USB-C cable to the master speed controller, which is the one that has the PPM cable running to your receiver. And we're going to plug that in. And the computer will register it. And then we're going to click in the top right corner, reconnect last connection. This should just pick up both speed controllers. You'll know they're both registered when you see two items down here. So we'll start in motor settings and we'll come to general. We're going to leave invert motor direction the way it is. We're going to be setting these up as FOC or FOC motors. And this is the tab that controls all of your essentially speed settings the amperages being sent to the motors each so 70 amps to each motor 70 amps reverse so those are essentially my power forward power brake and then down here i set these to 30 amps and negative 30 amps the battery current max and battery current max regen this is your regenerative braking my bms is capable of 30 amps so I'm setting it to negative 30 and 30 for the current. Then we'll come over to the voltage tab and we will make sure that the cell count is correct to the number of cells that we have in our battery. We are using a 12S 4P battery. So 40.8 is your start cutoff. 37.2 is your end cutoff. So just set that and click apply. And then I'm not going to change anything on the rest of these tabs here. But I'm going to go ahead and click this button right here, which is right motor configuration. And that will send the data to the speed controller and it will save it. So then we're going to go to the slave ESC, which should be the one underneath. And I already know that I need to invert this motor direction. So I've changed it to true. And we're gonna make sure that it's FOC or FOC just like the other one. And we're just gonna match all of the values that we previously entered on the other, on the master speed controller, just to make sure they're identical. Voltage, 12 cells. And everything else should be the same. So we're gonna Go over here and click right motor configuration again and you'll know it worked when you see this green notification in the bottom corner next we're going to move back to the master esc and we're going to go to foc tab we're going to make sure that this is set to hall sensors since we are using hall sensors and we're going to run this resistance and inductance test. Your motors will make a noise. Once that's done, you'll get some green values here, and then we're gonna move on to the flux linkage test. And this will make your motors spin, so make sure that they are able to spin freely without hitting anything or running into anything. So you'll run that, your motor will spin up, this is a good test to tell if you need to invert the direction of the motor while this is happening. Once that's done, all these values will be green and we will click apply. That applied, now we're going to click right motor configuration, make sure that that went through. Next we're going to come over to the hall sensors tab. And we are going to run this detect hall sensors test by clicking the play button right here. And you're going to want to make sure that the motor's clear still. 
It'll make a little ringing noise and spin slowly back and forth. And these values down at the bottom will populate once it's done. And you'll just click apply. All sensor parameters applied. Now we're going to write motor configuration again to make sure that's saved to the speed controller. And then we're going to do the same process for the slave speed controller. So we're going to come to the FOC tab on the slave, make sure this is set to hall sensors, and we're going to run the same tests. You'll know when each test is complete when you get a green notification down here. And then we're going to apply. That was applied. Now we're going to write motor configuration. Okay. So I'm also going to go to the hall sensors tab and run this detect hall sensors test again on the second motor or the second speed controller the slave these values will populate and then we're going to click apply all sensor parameters applied and then we're going to write motor configuration so when you click around you can jump back and forth between the two ESCs on each tab so I can check the current tab make sure all of these are the same between the two speed controllers. I already know that all of those are the same. Next I'm going to come to the additional info tab. I don't know if this is necessary or not but I have input my gear ratio, my wheel diameter, my battery cells in series and my capacity as well as the battery type that I'm using and I'll just write motor configuration to get your gear ratio there are a bunch of calculators online it's just a calculation of your wheel diameter and your pulley sizes next we're going to go back to the master and ensure that both of these are set the same in this additional info tab so now everything in our motor settings is good next we're going to move to the app settings so on the master ESC I'm gonna set the app to use to PPM and UART and I'm gonna label my VESC ID number one or zero whichever works for you I'm gonna this is gonna have to be a lower number than your slave ESC so I'm gonna leave it as one I'm gonna ensure that this is set to can status disabled and that is all you can also change your timeout right here if you want so I'm going to click write app configuration once all of these values are set here this will write it to the speed controller next we're gonna come to the second slave ESC and we're going to ensure that this first option is set to no app and we're going to ensure that the ID number is number two instead of one or one instead of zero if you use zero and one and you're going to want to make sure that can status message is set to can status one and ensure that your shutdown timer is the same as the other speed controller if you change it I'm just going to leave it as is and then we're going to click write app configuration and that will save to the speed controller next we'll come back to the master and we'll go to the PPM tab and we're gonna set this to off control type just so that the motors don't spin and we're gonna write that app configuration and then we're gonna come to the mapping tab you're going to want to make sure you turn on real-time app data by clicking the RT app button. And you'll want to turn on your controller. 
And once it's connected, you'll want to give it full throttle and full brake a couple few times. And you'll want to apply these values that'll apply them up here. And I'm going to write that app config. Once that is saved, we can go back to the general tab and turn this to current no reverse with break and we're going to write that app config again so now we're going to go back to the general tab and we're going to switch over to the slave esc and you'll notice that the ppm selection changes to esc remote so we're going to come here and we're going to make sure that control type is set to off and all of these values here should be the same as what's on the PPM tab of the master. But all I really changed there was we're going to make sure that multiple v vests over CAN is set to false because this is our slave ESC and then traction control will be true just as it was on the other one. So we're going to write that app configuration. And then we're going to go back to the general tab, go back to the master ESC, and then come back to the PPM tab, make sure this is current, no reverse with break, and it is. So I'm just gonna write app configuration one more time, write motor configuration one more time on both ESCs to make sure that all of my settings have saved and all of those are now saved. And I am going to, you can also change your uh, throttle curve here, but I'm just going to leave it linear to start. And now I'm going to disconnect. We are done programming the speed controllers. If you give it throttle on the controller after disconnecting, it should spin up. I'm going to remove the USB-C after disconnecting and I'm going to give it some throttle. some brake and it works works great so there you have it that is how you program dual motors in the VESC tool